Somali Prime Minister Mohamed Roble held a cabinet meeting Wednesday in Mogadishu. He discussed with his ministers the state of national elections, his trip to the education summit in London, the coronavirus situation in the nation, and security of Somalis outside the country. This week, Roble held a virtual conference with state officials. He says that an understanding has been reached to complete balloting for the upper house of the National Assembly by the end of next week. While the states have been critical of the federal government for not being prepared for elections, they have been the ones causing delays. Southwest State has elected its eight senators. Jubaland has voted in four of their eight. Pointland has chosen candidates for their 11 seats, but not set a date for polling. Galmadug has chosen a committee to oversee the balloting for their eight seats. Hershebele, also with eight upper house members, has not announced any progress toward holding a vote. Roble acknowledged his mediation to try and get the 11 Somaliland senators voted in. Disagreement between Deputy Prime Minister Mahdi Gouled and Senate Speaker Abdi Hashi is said to be settled by the PM. Hashi contradicted Roble, claiming there is still no agreement. The timetable agreed upon after the May National Consultative Conference set the vote for the Senate as July 25th. Lower House polls were to be held between August 10th and September 10th, but a new agreement will move them back about a month. This would have the legislative selection finishing just about the time the presidential vote is scheduled on October 10th. It remains to be seen whether that date will move as well. The new legislature was to be picked by December 27th of last year, meaning the MPs will have overstayed their mandate by almost 10 months. The presidential vote was to happen by February of this year. While President Mohamed Formaggio could still be re-elected, he will have remained over eight months past his mandate under the current schedule. ADN-TV will continue to report on political developments in Somalia.